In this video, I'm going to go over the file management plugins, which I have set up for writing LaTeX documents in NeoVim. There's not too many of these, uh, but worth taking a look. So the first one is Startify. So if I were to quit out of Vim space Q and reopen, uh, we get this nice start screen. So that's useful. And it has all our sessions. So these are different projects, uh, files, and current directory. Um, and so yeah, I find that pretty nice. I created this little NeoVim um, uh, printout up at the top here. Um, so let's go back into five. So if you want to customize that, um, then in the init.vim uh, file, we can go to this start screen.vim. So gf, go to that file, and let's maximize. So here's that little um, printout that you get, and you can have these, you can generate these online. Um, different places, the just Google ASCII art. Um, so yeah, that's where that comes from. And then here's sessions, files, and directories. And you can also include bookmarks if you want to uncomment this and um, and move it in here, or you can put it down the bottom, or wherever you want it. Um, but I don't use bookmarks, um, so I have it turned off for now, just to keep things simple. So. That is, and then there's a bunch of other, well, configuration that um, I scooped from someone else. Um, if you want to change some of that stuff, you certainly can. Um, but yeah, you to do that, you would then, um, let's go back to plugins. So you would just uh, Google this, so yank enter this, and let's go over here. And you'd look up um, this plugin. And you would look for all the different ways you can customize it and what it does and so on, or you could Google it uh, elsewhere. So that is a little bit about Startify. Uh, the next one is um, really just a very minor plugin, but it helps for Vim Explorers or um, COC Explorer, which so COC is um, a quite big plugin and it includes a bunch of different uh, extensions which you can add and so um, Explorer is one of them and this is perfectly fine file tree for my needs and notice that it has you know for a vim file it has this little v uh, for text files it has this little symbol for json you got the brackets python and so on so those little icons come from this um, plugin so that's a nice thing to have um, there's no configuration file for this uh, if we go back to init.vim um, this is my little section for um, file management plugins, and there just is none for dev icons. That's fine. And COC Explorer, I've also left um, just out of the box, and it, it works great for me. Uh, the next one to look at is Fuzzy Finder. So FZF, uh, if I open up a new thing, uh, FZF, um, this is a, a program which I have installed on my computer. Um, however, let's go back here. Um, but it's nice to also integrate it into Vim. And so that's what these two plugins do. Um, and to give some sense of that, if I want to say search in this file, I would do space and I have it under uh, F for find. So lowercase f, and then I could search for something like FCF and it would find that and take me right there. So that can be useful. I've also got one set for search uh, home folder. So this search all files on my computer. So. It's those are the two that I find useful, one for just, just the current file. Um, it might be nice to have one for just the current directory, um, but then this is one for your entire computer. Um, so you can search for you know, FCF or yeah, wh whatever it is you, you might be looking for, some other file or some part of a file that uh, you might want to look up. Um, so that's what I have for FCF. Maybe worth looking at which key also. So let's, um, oops. Um, yeah, let's do which key, there it is. Okay, so um, if I go, yeah, here it is. So here's capital F file. So all this is, all that um, capital F runs, if I do space and you see home files and then lowercase f is fine. So let's find the use of, this is B lines is the command and these are both provided by the FCF plugin and then colon files and then it supplies the directory. Uh, so. You can create another one where it just looks in your working directory. That might be useful. Um, but anyways, that's where you would modify these things here. And to find out where these commands come from, well, you'd have to look to the FCF um, plugin itself, and you would 
just do that by Googling um, the plugin name. So this this guy, Yank Inner uh, Text, put it up here, and you know you could find out a lot more about this plugin and what the different commands that it supplies um, and which key bindings you might want to add, you know, to make use of some of those different um, those commands. Okay, so that's a little bit about FCF and the integration I have. Fairly minimal integration, but um, nevertheless useful. Um, the last sort of section is all the Git integration. So uh, Git Fugitive and is sort of the main one here. So if I space, uh, hit space, then I have it under G um, right here for Git. So let's open that up. And then these, many of which are all commands which are supplied by Git Fugitive. Um, so let's look at blame, for instance, if I do B, then it'll show me, you know, line by line, um, let's maximize this, um, line by line, basically who did what to the document, um, when, and, you know, in this case, it's just me, but, uh, if you're working on a project with other people, it can be useful to sort of sort out, uh, where different things came from. And so anyways, that is provided by Git Fugitive and Git blame is at least one command which I have bound. Um, the main one I should say that I use is lazy git, so I just press G again, and then I get this little window here. So this is not being provided by git fugitive. Uh, let's go out of that. So if I were to um, go back into this folder and let's do cd, yeah, let's go into config. Okay, so here is a folder and notice that git is tracking something in here. So I could just open up lazy git. Uh, this is just a program on my computer. And then I could run git commands through lazy git. I'm not using vim whatsoever here. Um, however, if I go back into vim, so this is my vim config, uh, which I'm looking at, of course, inside vim, and you space gg, then it brings open this same little box, but inside this little window. Um, so how does that happen? Um, let's go back into which key. And now we got to go down to the git commands. Yeah, under G. Okay, and then let's see, it's lowercase g. So all this does is it, this gg binding running lazy git is it just says, okay, float term new. So create a new float term is basically it creates like a little window inside vim or on top of vim and it says run lazy git. That's it. So you're just running this other program you have installed on your computer through this little. Um, yeah, little window um, float term. So, so that is useful. Um, all right, let's go back. Oops. Uh, okay, so that is Git uh, Vim Fugitive. Um, there's also yeah rhubarb and GB. So I brought up the um, pages for these. So rhubarb says you know if fugitive.vim is the Git, uh, rhubarb.vim is the hub. I honestly don't totally know what all this means, but it's basically a useful um, auxiliary plugin. The two of them work nicely in conjunction, and something similar is true of GB. Um, so if we were to look this one up, um, yeah, let's put this in here. Look this guy up, and then find out. Okay, so a git commit browser. Oh, cool. So it basically, I mean, this is, I, I don't necessarily need this, but if I wanted this functionality, so it gives me certain commands that I can run. So open uh, the commit browser. So let's do that. So colon GV. And then sure enough, there's all my commits and you get this like little, you know, not very complicated branching structure, which I've got going on. Um, yeah. So that's what this provides. Um, if you're not using Git or you're not using these features, uh, you could comment out these and you could remove these plugins, but uh, even though I don't really use them that often, I mostly use lazy git, um, they're not hurting me, just sitting there and um, could potentially be useful. So that's git fugitive, rhubarb, and gv. Um, vim, git gutter, and signify. So this is to do, so git gutter is here. You see these little plus symbols um, or the minus showing that I've deleted a line or these tildes showing that I've somehow modify the lines. Um, that's all happening through git gutter and signify. So if I go into here, I think, yeah, so git gutter, let's look at this, so gf. Yeah, I've just turned off 
the default um, key mappings because I don't want them to conflict with my key mappings. Okay, and then um, sign a file. Let's go to this one. Okay, so this just sets what the sort of added and deleted and modified and, and so on, what those all, um, uh, what those signs are to be. So that's that's what that is. So fairly insignificant modifications. Um, can't remember if we, yeah, um, we didn't look too much at um, FCF, but this is just some default configuration I scooped from someone else. So. Also not too much to do there, but if you do need to add some new features to FCF, um, Geek Gutter or Signify, this, this is where you'd find them. Um, and that is it. Uh, that is all the Git integration. And those are at least all the plugins that I'm sort of putting under this heading of file management. Um, so hopefully that makes sense, um, give you some indication of what is doing what and um, how to make changes.